Hi, my name is Tracy Hines, and I'm going to show you how to DIY some simple but intricate Day of the Dead makeup. Let's get started. For this look, you will need Hot Topic Day of the Dead costume tattoos, Blackheart pigment shadows in Late Night, Dark Star, Envious, and White Noise, Blackheart eye pencil in Klepto, a pencil sharpener for your eyeliners, Blackheart lipstick in Sure Shot, foundation or concealer and setting powder, shimmer highlighter, false lashes if you want, a washcloth or paper towels, and a cup of water. Begin with a clean face. This version of Day of the Dead makeup is unique because it doesn't use white makeup as a base. Instead, it lets your natural skin tone show through. I think this creates a more alluring and sensual look for us girls than the traditional white skull, though that's certainly a fun option too. The primary key to this look is adhering facial temporary tattoos to your skin, so a clean, dry face is a must. The tattoos won't stick unless your skin is free of any products or makeup to start. For this look, I'm wearing some red and yellow circle lenses from Pinky Paradise because they remind me of the character La Muerta from The Book of Life. Any eye color looks great with this makeup, but it's fun to add some extra colorful contacts for even more of an otherworldly look, if you're into the eye candy. Before you apply the tattoos, take either an eyeliner pencil or a loose shadow pigment that's been wet into a liquid and draw or paint on the outlines of your eye sockets so you have a starting point to work around. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll come back to this later. This is just an outline for what's to come. Now grab one of the Hot Topic Day of the Dead temporary tattoo packs to really get started. Both guys and girls can rock this look, but I'm going with the more feminine pack that features the rose theme for mine. These tattoo packs are great. Whether you're a makeup artist or a makeup amateur, these make it so easy to get the ornate designs of Day of the Dead makeup without all the typical face paint work. Totally genius. By the way, when it comes time to remove these later, some baby oil does the trick. Cut out the designs you want to transfer onto your face one by one. Different faces and face shapes will be complemented by different things, so feel free to get creative with it. Remove the plastic backing on the first piece. Place it right where you want it, face down on your skin, and using a wet cloth, transfer the design. Apply a light pressure, making sure the entire backing gets thoroughly soaked, and wait 30 seconds before moving on to the next one. Repeat the process until you have all of your tattoos in place. Be patient and take your time. It'll be worth the wait. If you're like me and you don't have perfect skin, go in with a foundation brush and a foundation or concealer in your skin tone and blend some coverage over any problem areas, taking care not to go over the tattoos or eye area. Lightly powder over the foundation to set. You can lightly powder over the tattoos if you like to take away some of the shine. Now it's time to fill in those eye sockets. Using the Blackheart Loose Shadow Pigment in black, create a paint-like texture by mixing the pigment with water. I use the back of my hand as a canvas to mix and test out the color before going at my face with it. Once you have the right mix, tap any excess off to prevent fallout and paint inside the entire socket you outlined earlier, including your eyelid, under your eye and over your brows. Go over the area until it's solid black. Add a little glamour and a touch of shine by dusting a small amount of the Blackheart Loose Pigment Shadow in shimmering white over your lids and near your lash line. Get rid of all skin tone in the eye area by lining your waterline with the Blackheart Eye Pencil in matte black. Coat your eyelashes with black mascara to finish the effect. You can add some falsies to glam out your lashes if you like. Just make sure you choose black ones to keep the blackout effect intact. Add some detail to the outside of the eye socket circles by choosing a color and stroking along the edge. I'm using white. You can use an eyeliner pencil for this 
or more of your black heart pigment mixed into paint using a brush and some water. Take some more of the wet black pigment and paint small scallop designs over what you just did for a traditional sugar skull decoration. It's optional, but you can add some pinky peach blush to your cheekbones for a girly flush. Using your finger or a contouring brush, shade the hollows of your cheeks, following the tattoo designs from the edges of your mouth to your ears with a purple shadow. This will give the look depth and make your face look gaunt and more skeleton-like. You can also add touches of the shadow to the rest of the tattoo designs, your temples and under your jawbone. Finish the look with rose red lips. I'm using the Blackheart Deep Red Lipstick called Sure Shot. I'm adding a wavy brunette wig to complete my transformation, because Day of the Dead makeup is all about exploring another side of yourself. Adding colorful flowers in your hair is the best way to accessorize your makeup in traditional Day of the Dead fashion, as sugar skulls are often decorated with flowers. Place them close to the hairline so they complement your makeup directly. At this point, you're good to go, but there's a couple more steps if you want to make this look a little darker. Add skeleton teeth over your lips by painting some vertical black lines using a thin brush and your wet black pigment. You can also add some depth by patting a tiny bit of shimmering pigment on your lips using your white or purple eyeshadows, or a mix of the two. And that's it! You ooze mystery and intrigue without even saying a word. Take your fancy face out into the night to celebrate with friends, family, and those you hold most dear. Happy Halloween, gorgeous!